Nick hasn't been fine. There's no word about him being fine. According to Matt Johnson, when he talked to the Olympia and IFBB, everything was fine and they were very supportive. It's not an injury. You are watching Muscle Central. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment. Okay, a little more on Nick Walker and him pulling out of the Olympia and what the real reason might be. It's not that he wasn't training hard enough and that he couldn't put down a fork. That's a crock of shit uh, there. Uh, what Matt Jensen said in the video that they put up that Nick always function always function well with all this chaos and turmoil in his life and now with all this peace and tranquility his body doesn't respond the same and that's a crock of shit too i did say uh, uh before in a video that i personally think that it is a health issue uh, something along those lines. Now, I was going back and I was listening to what Matt was saying on the video again, and I didn't pick it up the first time, but I caught it this time. He said that he reached out to the Olympia, Jake Wood, Dan Solomon, uh, Jim Manion, the IFBB, and he inform them of what's going on and they they're fully supportive uh of him they understand now let's think about that a little bit typically if a bodybuilder pulls out of the olympia one it's one thing if you have an injury if an injury an injury is an injury but you sign an olympia contract and you get fined when you pull out of the Olympia without a good reason. Uh, Nick hasn't been fined. There's no word about him being fined. According to Matt Johnson, when he talked to the Olympia and IFBB, everything was fine and they were very supportive. It's not an injury. That leads me even more to believe that there is something uh, health-related going on. Now, I was watching uh, a video put up by uh, Larry Pollack on his channel, Larry Pollack Uncensored. I'll leave a link uh, in the description to the video so you can watch the whole thing, and he discusses it. And he brought up something, and it, could be, it makes a lot of sense, and it could very well be the explanation. Uh, Nick is a freak of freaks. Obviously, obviously uh, bodybuilders do things to assist them in looking the way they look. Now, Larry... He has a good amount of knowledge in this field, uh, talking about chemicals. He says uh, his belief is that uh, the usage of insulin with the GH uh, uh, made his body insulin resistant. So that happening. Uh, a lot of other issues will follow uh, and could explain that rather large uh, mass we saw underneath his shirt, the way his face is all blown out. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a, uh, an expert in that field. But Larry, like I said, he has a good knowledge in that field and the way he explained it was very plausible, very understandable, and is could be very likely the reason 
why uh, we had the situation with Nick Walker. One way or another, uh, I'm almost certain that it is a health-related issue. Uh, otherwise, Jim Mannion, Jake Wood, Dan Solomon would not be very uh, acceptive of this this close to the Olympia if it was not an injury or something health-related. That's just the way I see it. You can agree or disagree with anything I've said. Please let me know in the comment section. This is Michael Diamond. I'd like to thank you for watching Muscle Central.